is the beautiful United Nations building, you know, built here in the 40s to kind of after World War II kind of to help preserve world peace. And uh, the whole area used to be an area that was uh, uh, mostly occupied by uh, butchers and uh, butcher shops. And Rockefeller, uh, David Rockefeller, ended up donating all this land for the creation of uh, the United Nations. And look, like, what a great gift to New York and uh, to the people of the world. Because this helps preserve the peace. And you can see all the other buildings around here. And you can see here, this is very big. For New York, it is a huge amount of space dedicated to just one building. And I think that makes such a big difference. And uh, it's just people trying to help out, trying to make for uh, everyone to be able to conduct things in peace. So here we're just taking a closer look, you know, at the whole area. You can see how, because of security reasons, they have a lot more bushes here now. And we'll be able to take a look at the yards itself, but it's very beautiful inside. And the area right over here that we see is used for a lot of celebrations. And even there's an area in the back, right behind this big building here, which is where the General Assembly meets, uh, that has like a, a, a very nice fifth floor reception area. And they have like a, a deck in the back that allows people to look at the East River. And you can just take a look at the neighborhood around here. And like this is where a lot of diplomats live here. And a lot of embassies are around here. You can see how everything very well maintained. You know, it's like a lot of work, of course. But as I said, you know, people just love being around here. You know, it's very peaceful. And every September, there's something called the General Assembly. So right now, we're free to walk here. It's like August 5th. However, once September rolls around, that's when every leader of the world comes here to give a short speech at the United Nations, if they so choose. I'm sure there are some countries who just don't think that it makes sense to bring their leader all the way to New York just to make a 15-minute speech. But there are quite a few other leaders who make a very big point about coming to the United Nations because it's a great way just to see everything and to understand what the city is like and what the what the what the world is like. Now here, for example, is one of the ways a lot of New Yorkers end up coming down to First Avenue. You can see here all these buildings. Now, even though it looks like these are the buildings here, what's gonna happen is there's probably some developer that has their eye on this building because they could put up a very high building here, you know, or some uh, diplomatic resident there that, that the uh, people would really like, that they would prefer, and that would be good for everyone. Like, uh, for example, that very tall building in the distance, you can see that tall, tall building. That is actually the uh, German Consulate General, and they built that recently, so about like 10 years ago, and just for the, the, the German government. And the building in the back, the black building, is the Trump Tower, and that was built about uh, 10 years ago also. But you can see here, like the whole area around the United Nations, it's just great. And um, you can see even here in the courtyard, there's like a lot of space in here. And uh, you know, it's very nice seeing this. And it's just so nice when you go inside. And everyone, all the diplomats are really great to talk to. And um, it's, a, it's a great experience. I've been in there quite a few times. And I think it's fun just to see what things are like and how things, how business is done. They even have like a time for tourists to go into the, the building too, just to, to see the General Assembly because it's part of the way people are encouraged to uh, think highly of the United Nations. And it does make such a difference, like just to see the United Nations. And here you can see like some of the inside like of the United Nations. And I think it's like, a, it's really nice, but there is a high security to go inside. It's almost like going through an airport, but that's good because it helps protect everyone. And so here, for example, some more of the area around the United Nations, some more of the buildings and a lot of the, the staff live in these buildings because it's so convenient for them. 
So this is just a, a brief idea of what it looks like, just for everyone's benefit. And you can see here, very nice seeing that. And that's the United Nations there again. Big, tall building. And that's all nice.